does Expo have to do with you muttering all the time? When I was young, I used to relieve stress by working on complex mathematical conundrums. No doubt my younger self was working on some impossible problem in an attempt to work off cerebral steam in the weeks before the exposition. What was I muttering about? I don't know, uh, H to the something with an inverse of something else. I I'm not so good at equations. That's too bad. I bet if we could solve my younger self's problem, he'd be more inclined to listen to you. Yeah, we already know that. Yeah. Let's talk about your younger self's problems later. Okay, but don't forget, we're on a bit of a deadline here. We know. I think I'll just talk to Doc from out here. Here it comes. Let's try and talk with him again. Yeah. Never be able to remember what young Doc's mumbling about. Will you just give me a chance? Hmm. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. No news answers. Anyway, uh, about your... Say it. What about we find uh, Edna? <coughs> Soup kitchen, perhaps? Yeah, we can try and go back there and see what happens. For management only, uh, oh. Robbie. <laughs> Whoa! So we need to lure him away then? Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, culinary enhancements back there. some samples of old-timey people talking and using it in a new song. What are those tables for? We keep a few extra tables around for our end-of-the-month hobo soirees. <clears throat> okay. Hey, um, uh, never mind. Hmm. There are guys sitting there still. Yeah. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Maybe if we use the phone again, perhaps? Brown resident. Hmm. Wasn't much. Oh. Do we have her? Hey, maybe if you show uh, the book to uh, Emmett. Yeah. Flaps. We still got it, don't we? Yeah. After all the trouble well, I went through getting this thing, there. there's He's no gonna, way I'm letting it out of my sight. Yeah, that's gonna destroy stuff. <laughs> there's new stuff in there that we don't have, uh, that he don't, doesn't know. Yeah, because we're a scientist. He didn't believe us. Yeah, but that's dangerous. 
Why don't you record some samples of old-timey people talking and use it in a new song? Go for it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so let's try this first. Is that even possible? Oh, let's start with Rob. Doc's notebook doesn't belong to him. Okay, actually, it does belong to him, but not yet. In any event, it's probably a really bad idea to give him a book full of all the things he hasn't invented yet. Okay. He needed evidence. And we're able to get inside the courthouse either? No. And all the stores. But there won't be any evidence in the courthouse, but we know the soup kitchen is for the gangsters. Yeah. So what if we try to record it on the tape recorder? I should record some samples of all. Why do you keep nagging about some old samples? Old timey people talking and using a new song. I don't want to record them right now. Hmm. Okay. What was that? The paper? I don't want to record them right now. You had a paper inside your inventory? No, that's the the one with the phone number. <sighs> oh yeah. There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Sit down on the bench. No, no, no. Hmm. Well, let's leave them. I should record some samples of old timey people talking and use it in a new song. I just take your sound core and click on the doors then something. Let's check out the barber shop. Not sure what that'll do. Me neither. Not sure what that'll do. Hmm. Not sure what that'll do. Nothing actually. <laughs> Okay, so that's as far as I can get. Maybe we able to get inside the courthouse now? Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. I don't need to go in there anymore. Yeah. Right on. I should record some samples of old timey people talking and use it in a new song. Hey. Try and record him then. Yeah. We can slow it down and try and understand what he's trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> because he's mumbling. He's been talking about the mumbling. Right. Somebody just went in there. Yeah, well, wasn't that Emmett? There he is. Okay, so that wasn't Emmett who went in there then. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone! Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Hop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. And uh, about your... Don't say it. Hmm. Possible? Oh, let's start. Don't think, Emmett, think. Yeah. H yeah. to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I, oh. Mm. 
relative to the speed of light. Okay, let's try and uh, listen to it. Show it to the dark. Yeah. Controls here is really messed up. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Psst, Doc! Morning! How close the escape plan? So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. Good grief! Is that me? I sound so young. I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. But won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional <laughs> membrane. Oh my god. So it'll be fine. Okay. Right on. Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> there it comes. Ah. Get him. Equals mass times acceleration. Corp. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is the Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A! <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? <laughs> I'm from the future. I'm from the future. Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill, then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Hmm. Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. That's right. It's gonna be dead tomorrow. Nah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to where you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! <laughs> Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Let's go talk to him. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say.
What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. Yeah, that killed me. That's actually inside the soup kitchen. Though. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres <laughs> oh Rest Home. God. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. And this is this. Let's... Yeah, I can help you deliver charity. soup. I don't need yeah. a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The um, Mario Brothers. <laughs> ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses. Let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions, yeah, you can let me know when they're running low on soup. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? A so farm for unwanted children. Perhaps their parents don't want them because they eat too much. <laughs> all right, Edna. Just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. Mr. Donnelly! Get the car. I saw that it was light on it, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it? Yeah, I think so. Needs 190 proof booze to fuel his rocket drill. Well, that could be a problem. I know, we're both underage. Underage, nothing. It's 1931 and alcohol's been outlawed throughout the country. Are you sure you're about to graduate from high school? I'm kidding, Doc. It was a joke. A joke? If I live to be a hundred, and I almost have, <laughs> I'll never understand a teenage compunction to make a joke out of everything. Hang in there, Doc. Didn't he say something about the soup? Don't drink the soup or something? And then uh, took a cag with soup water somewhere? Yeah, let's try and see if we can talk to this guy. What the hell, Matches? You, you got kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? Edna Strickland thinks your soup kitchen might not be on the up and up. That dame gets on my nerves. Got a great <laughs> pair of jams, though. Yeah. Hey, I represent United Charities of Hill Valley. Can you authorize me to pick up soup from your establishment and deliver it to some very deserving souls? Nah, that Strickland dame's got the charity racket pretty much locked up. No point in giving her competition. I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? 
I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Well, where's the office? I forget. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Some peanuts. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. What the hell is that? Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? <laughs> hey! Oh. <laughs> Gotta get shot. <laughs> What'd you do? Lousy crook! Emmett! Uh oh. <laughs> Emmett! Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! <laughs> We're in deep shit now. Uh oh. <laughs> he is in deep shit. Now it's coming, dude. Ah, deep shit. Fix me up! Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call <coughs> me the street. <clears throat> Get out! <clears throat> McFly. Where to the McFly? Let's try and talk with the dog again. I thought we just passed actually McFly somewhere. Didn't he bump into a guy? I don't think that was him. Psst, Doc! Hang in there, Doc. Soup kitchen and see. Yeah, it might be in there now. Oh, cool. Ah. Hey, cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of uh, soup. Soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Oh, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. <laughs> okay. Let's get Emma to help us uh, push the doors down. Or, see?
There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Okay. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Hmm. tables for we keep a few extra tables around for our end of the month hobo soirees hobo you moving out of the way not a chance i could throw out my back eureka oh no Don't pretty neat me. huh <laughs> Nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Okay. Okay. Emmett. Yes? Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. Obviously, this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right, that might explain the elevator. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids' goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. So, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. What? Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well... I imagine the modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety, right. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. I hope Doc Jr.'s thing about holds out. Managed to open it. No. Well, I think we only need to speak to the bartender again. Or the soup dealer. I think you can try and go in there. Did uh, you try and go in? No, I didn't try to go in there. Probably gonna stop here. Hey, where do you think you're going? The kitchen? I would set some of the Kitchen's for management only, rummy. <laughs> rummy. You should uh, ask him. Excuse me. You talking to me?
Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to hurt this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy too, but it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. You got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? Going now. Nope. The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Whoa! What about the door on our side? And you should be able to push it now. Yeah. Wait for him to, to sit down here. No. No. Well, I think you actually push him on these sections <clears> or <throat> somewhere. What is it, kid? Okay. Uh, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried. Paprika? Paprika? Uh, I, I just think it could use a little uh, color. Color? Hmm. hmm. Yeah, now we should push the door actually. Because it's not blocking out. Yeah. Harry McFly. Run for it, run. Pretty neat, Doc. Huh? Nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Emmett. Yes? No. Which said that? Obviously this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right, that might explain the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. All right. Well, maybe we need to add all the ingredients to the soup, perhaps? You think? I still think the soup needs more flavor. Hmm? So, we're supposed to do something now. Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, culinary enhancements back there. They talked about charity. It was uh, like a post over there. Apparently we should see. Yeah. The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Whoa! You see that? Oh, 
foot over there. Let's see if we can. Oh, I can't. Hmm. <laughs> Try talking. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Get some more this and let's add to I that still think the soup needs more flavor. No, it's just gonna do that. Hmm. Give it a half too. This hat belongs to my grandfather. Yeah. <clears throat> my grandpa may be a little wimpy, but he's got great taste in hats. What's that paper there? The phone number. No, not that one. That one. That's the subpoena. Yeah, subpoena who? For his granddad. I need to get the subpoena into Arthur McFly's hands so young Doc will have the time to help me bust old Doc out of jail. Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. Um, what yeah. is it, kid? I still think the soup needs more flavor. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. Hmm. But at least those tables are propped up now. Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. I got a book. Oh, where? There's your guy. Oh. I better not go back in there. They're angry and they've got scissors. <laughs> now there's something fishy about that soup kitchen.
<laughs> you always come back. Okay. I still think the soup needs more flavor. <clears throat> okay. Hey, um... Never mind. Chef in this I don't think that picture is going to do anything but confuse people. All cabbage soup? Last time I checked. Don't you have any other kinds of soup? No. <laughs> what about those barrels? What about them? What kind of soup is that? It's not so. Uh, uh, it's special soup. What's special about it? It's uh, it's made for grown-ups, kid. A <laughs> soup for grown-ups? That's right, kid. Be nosy. See where it gets you. Can I have a barrel of that soup? A barrel of soup? Absolutely not, kid. Even in times like these, I can tell you ain't that hungry. Why can't I have any of that soup from the rack? Because it ain't the soup dojo. <laughs> nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, the culinary enhancements back there. It's kind of blocked off there, isn't it? Yeah, but what can you do? Must be something outside. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Mind if I look around a bit? No. Her to, uh, Pretty neat, huh? Give you the soup business or something? <laughs> nope. I'm, I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Emmett. Yes? Alright, I think I figured out which barrels have the hooch. Then what are you waiting for? He's not just gonna give me a barrel. Of course. Well, you seem to have a way with people, so I'll leave it up to you to trick that lummox into giving up his moonshine. Obviously, this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right. That might explain the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. We need 
the soup business. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? Yeah, about Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. <laughs> you asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Let's see. The orphanage? That wasn't there last time. The orphanage! My, how those little ragamuffins can eat. Or is it? Just bring them back again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still one left, so copy that either. Hmm. <clears throat> what is it, kid? That's good. Keep kind of running a soup kitchen. What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious malicious the actions of the misguided vandals that 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 done burned down his place of business. It's speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the the <laughs> Just eat your damn soup, hip squeak. Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not so well to do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. So this place used to be a soup kitchen. <laughs> what do you mean used to be? Used to be. <clears throat> Despite reasons of distributing soever. Right. Right. I still think the soup needs more flavor. So what are we supposed to do? Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of... I don't think we are uh, supposed to do that yet. Because that's the alcohol. I think we need to find some This kitchen's supplies. for management only, Rummy. Oh! There isn't that many places to go. Yeah, that's a problem. Hmm. <clears throat> there actually so many places to go. Now there's some 
I better not. Those lawyers sound kind of nasty. Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. Then we have some, uh, uh, you know, sentence left on Edna, something to talk with. I don't need anything in there, and I don't have any money. Or did you buy so the light up her bicycle or something? I better not go back in there. They're angry, and they've got yeah, scissors. I'm just gonna check around here first. to go in there anymore did you ever This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. This subpoena is for Arthur McFly? Have you seen him? We're a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. about Kid Tannen? What do we know about him? He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Yep, that's a Tannen, all right. We'll get that subpoena delivered. My name isn't... Michael Corleone! <laughs> yeah! Nice bike. Puffy? Huffy? I'm not Huffy. I'm passionate. Passionate about justice, safety, law, and order. Uh, never mind. Hmm. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the say. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. I got a book. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new skinna say. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, the taking SSS. hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, oh, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? The Brown Residence. The Brown Residence? You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays! Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. Uh, okay. I got a book. deliver a lot of subpoenas. Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. All he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. The 
If serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Look, what's the worst thing that can happen to me on this job? You could get shot. Yeah, well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. Any idea where we could find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. Einstein. Give the hat to Einstein. We'll get that subpoena delivered. Mm hmm. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Yeah. Where is he going? Finally. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Half an hour in the soup. Kitchen. <laughs> Looks like the Edna Strick Strickland's place. Huh. Yeah. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. I don't need to push it again. Arthur's already there. Take the subpoena up. Give it. Someone's playing tricks on me. Too late. <laughs> Not sure what that'll do. What now? What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. Give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Sally, you able to do that? No. You try it. Quit bugging me, or I'll tell kid. <laughs> Let's try and annoy him to come and open it because he didn't see us. What now? Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? I'm your grand... Uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? Let's We've got something for you. Come down it's a sub subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry, some other time. <laughs> what? It's me again. Please come down. Why? 
We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up. Sorry. Hmm. You push. Uh, I got something for you. Uh, I think so. Yeah. What? It's me again. Please come down. Why? We represent the law. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry. <laughs> Some other time. I don't think you said that. We tried all of them now. What now? I got something now, that was the subscription. Yep, try the hat or something. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We tried all of those. Yeah, but try it again. We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the, the yeah. Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry, some other time. Well, I'm sure we aren't able to put that subscription inside the hat in the inventory. Mm. Need any help? Um, never mind. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Oh, there's no options for setting them together. What about the exam? Grandpa may be a little wimpy, but he's got great taste in hats. Right. Now, uh, Arthur's already a little freaked out. I think showing him a picture of his yet to be born son <laughs> could turn him into a vegetable. <laughs> <sighs> it's me again. Please come down. Why? I'm your grand, uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Sorry. Some other time. <laughs> so freaking annoying. Can we move from here? Let's talk to Ice Dad. Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll take it from here. Hmm. See. I just uh, don't want to again. It uh, seems like you can Duck. actually roll down at the bottom there. Oh, okay. Yeah. The phone, you know. I know this really isn't the right time or place, but I found your notebook. Oh, so that's where I left it. Why'd you bring it here? Because the bank's selling off all your stuff. They can't do that. That's what I keep trying to tell them. Well. You hold on to it for safekeeping. We'll deal with my financial situation in 1986 after we saved me from a grisly death in 1931. 
What's the story with this kid tanning jerk anyway? Biff's father? By this time next year, he'll be pulling down a life sentence in San Quentin. There was even a song about it. Wait, if Biff will be born in 1938, and Kid will be in prison... As I recall, he escaped from prison in 1937 for about three hours. That's a busy three hours. No kidding. What do you know about Edna Strickland? Edna? We never really socialized when I was younger. She was a few years older than me, and we traveled in different socioeconomic circles. Why do you ask? She thinks you're a hero for burning down that speakeasy. She's doing a story on you. A story? Oh, yes, now I remember. Ask Edna, the etiquette column that doubled as a pro-temperance soapbox. She believed that the consumption of alcohol would inevitably lead to a complete societal breakdown. Sounds like a fun gal. You should have seen her when the hippies started showing up in the 60s. She just somehow lost her mind. That <laughs> would explain a lot. Hang in there, Doc. See if we can uh, see Kid Tam again. Yes, probably pissed after you stole his hat. Doesn't hit us to keep, so. Well, well, look who's back! They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches! You son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! I don't think they're in a talkative mood right now. Don't make me angry, Smucko! Get down here and face the music! Right now. Oh, right. You can't get away that no easy! Way. Nobody puts one it. over on Kid Tannen and lives to tell about it! You're a dead meat twerk! Einstein! Help! <laughs> Lay off! Get away from that crazy nut! Go, go away, dog! We're busy here! Go on, scram! Hey! Where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! Yeah, prop yourself to Edna again, man. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the train to say. Guess not. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Is they sober? Yeah. Yeah, take that. There's more options. Yeah. Well. The Stay Sober Society. Bless you for thinking of them. But that meeting isn't scheduled to start for a little while. And we wouldn't want them eating cold soup. Hmm. You asked me to tell you if one of the local... Does somebody need a... The insane asylum. Whose inmates are crazy for soup.
I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Emmett. Yes? We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Now. I don't think Arthur would respond to that recording. He only listens to Tannen. Something fish. Hmm, I got it. I need to take the tip recorder to Tanner. Something fishy about that soup kitchen. You're only making it worse for you. Yourself, the Lord. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! Hey, I need. Look out, boss! It's it's that crazy mud again. Yeah. I solved it. Huh? I solved it. You did? Yeah. I took I the tape recorder on him, him and said, Get down here from here! Oh? Yeah, so now we're going back to McFly! Soup. soup kitchen? Oh, oh yeah. McFly! Yeah, okay. You don't want to listen to Tanner! We have. Oh, I don't know. Don't want to go back there. You want to take control? Sure. Oh! Are you sure we can just walk over there now? Yeah. Positive. Ring the doorbell, put the tape recorder out and click on him. Yeah. I hope Arthur's still where I left him. He's probably not going anywhere.
What now? Disappears again. You just need to push the Arthur McFly. Middle. Yeah, got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into Kid Tannen. Take it back. You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest! But kid will kill me! <laughs> stupid, stupid Artie! Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> 